I guess the first thing we could talk about is uh, what should be the next build. Well, you hid the theme from me. Oh, that's until true, this that's video. True. No, no, okay. Technically, I don't have a theme yet. I nice. had a theme, but then I I kind of changed it out, and then now I have nothing. But I guess the first thing I wanted to talk about was, do you think it's more, it would be better to do AMD this time or Intel? Since they're both coming out with fairly cheap processors, or at least the new i3s are also within a similar price range as the new, the Ryzen 3100 and Ryzen 3300X, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it really comes down to the budget and uh, use case, essentially. Like, if it's super budget, then I think AMD still has the better option with their new Ryzen 3s. Okay. But if you were to go something mid-range, potentially Intel might have a better option. Even higher range, too, if you want to go purely gaming or if you want to do something else. I do believe the new... Intel processors uh, for mid-range would also be pretty good for um, video rendering and stuff like that since they all have hyper-threading now compared to whatever the hell they had last time. That's true. And I think for this one, I'm, I think I want to do mid-range probably. So I would say uh, 600 to 1,000. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a pretty a, wide that's gap a very, there. very good budget, huh? Now let's challenge ourselves. You've had, you've had the specific order more than once. You've done multiple builds for people where they gave you an $800 budget. With tax. Tax included. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's a good price range to start with. It's a difficult one because if you go above that, it's kind of easy to just... That's spec true. things out and How if you go below it then well seven hundred dollars because i did one guy was eight hundred one was six hundred we'll do in between seven hundred dollars all right there's the budget okay seven hundred and now what's the use case let's say primarily gaming but potentially some editing but primarily gaming okay i know how we could do this too how about I'll research AMD boards, you research Intel boards. Alright, okay, I'm on new way. And we'll compare the two options together. Okay. And see how the computer gets built around those CPU choices. Okay. And I guess uh, one other thing is, are we going to uh, use the new... Technically, uh, the new processors for Intel and AMD, the pricings are out, but the new motherboards or not so i guess for now we just ignore that i think we go with whatever is available on the market right as we're now. doing this okay and All maybe right. later we can talk about what's going to be available on the market and okay. that might paint a different picture on in terms of what we would have chosen okay sounds good sounds good all right let's make a list all right so let's start then yeah let's start it's okay I mean, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately go to, I think, the 3600. 3600, okay. And because... I'm going to go straight to Intel first. Yeah, I have the easier job here. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, the 3600 yeah, is such look... like, a good baseline. Yeah, I have to look uh, for CPU the to go with. overpriced ones. Actually, no. Technically, if I don't get it over... Then prices are lower now, the 10th gen, if they're out already. No, they're not out yet. But, but that's the thing, Taylor. If you get a 10th gen processor, you have to get a new motherboard. And I don't know the pricing for the motherboard yet. That's true. That's the other issue where I was like, okay, that might make this harder. Yeah. Oh, i9-10980XE. Yeah, there you go. That's 10th gen. <laughs> yeah. it's. I think it's within budget. Exactly. Uh, 999.99. That's pretty good. Yeah, see, they, AMD has a lot of good budget motherboards. I'm not going to put too much thought into which one I go with. Okay. I know AI, I trust AS Rock as a brand and as a budget, and it's fairly <laughs> cheap. Yeah. I'm going to assume this person wouldn't want to overclock anyways. 
Because we're assuming they don't. Okay. Yeah, we're assuming... Well, yeah, we assume this is a normal person. Just wants to play their basic games. Apex wants to play Valorant. When it comes out. Yeah, Apex Legends. When it comes out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when that one's already <laughs> out. It's fine. And then maybe does some editing on the site. Nothing serious, just for fun. Okay. Should I do... Actually, I don't know. Okay, so I'm not going to do overclocking for Intel because that just makes it more expensive for everything. Wow. Actually, okay. let's go for full board. It's I don't really cheap. see a reason oh, I to need go a CPU micro. cooler too. It's been so long since I've used Intel that they don't come with coolers anymore. Nah. Oh, okay. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so... It me... might be worth waiting for uh, Tension to come out. Honestly, yeah, it might be. But we'll just make it anyways just for uh, just for fun. Yeah, either way, I don't know if Intel has anything at this budget that really... Um, really beats AMD's offerings. Yeah. Let me see. Let's see what the cheapest cooler is. It might surprise, though, because some of their CPUs are looking kind of interesting. The new ones? Yeah. Yeah. So it would be nice to see. But it kind of sucks that I don't have the capability to buy all the ones I need or I want for testing and stuff. But it would be cool if it does. If I yeah. did have that. But I guess I, that could come later. Yeah. I just said I wasn't going to put too much thought into the motherboard and I've gone back already more than once to double check if that was actually a good choice i'm trying to choose <laughs> i was looking at a cpu cooler for a while i was like should i go a little bit more expensive nah okay all right but well I'm must have in this case is 16 gigabytes of ram this budget allows it yeah definitely seven but is it 700 dollars including tax or are we gonna go easy on ourselves and say no including tax including this is tax. a hard budget of 700 dollars oh okay I'm at three hundred. I'm not gonna I'm not saying we need to go and like test everything out to make sure it fits in the budget for tax wise, but just on like PC part pick or something like that. As long as their estimated taxes and everything show below seven hundred, then we're good. Well they don't calculate tax for the total. Uh I think they can estimate it. Oh, oh. oh they estimate shipping. I'm I'm lying. Yeah. So just yeah, okay. go under you're going under seven hundred then. So we have to okay, I guess um like fifty dollars, fifty dollars. I'd say that's a pretty good buffer. Yeah, let me see. I think tax would bring it above slightly more than that. But yeah, but it's better than not having. No. I'm yeah. Right Let's see. Where are the timings on this? Oh yeah, that's huh? you have to actually look at the expected. Timings? I just have to look at speeds because uh, whoever gets this computer, good luck to them. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Could go more expensive for faster RAM. I'm trying to see too, like a good priced RAM for and like decent speed. Are we going for aesthetics or no? I would say so. I wouldn't yeah. see why we wouldn't. Okay. Of course, <laughs> so vengeance. my my aesthetics will be uh, what's it called? Black. Yeah, It'll seems pretty black. good to me. Okay, all right, sounds good. Are you gonna do ATX or micro? I went with micro because the motherboard, but I'm that can go either or to be honest. Okay, let's see. You know what? You don't get to overclock. Oh, wait, I didn't even get an overclockable CPU. Never mind, huh? Sucks. Crucial Ballistics, yeah. my favorite brand. Well, I don't know why the timings aren't listed on here. See, uh, out of stock silver. on Amazon, but it's Ooh, still available. This looks pretty nice, black and silver motherboard. Okay, CPU cooler storage. Let's see, let's see. I will do. I'll add two hundred gigabytes. Well, okay, here it is. Okay, we'll say. 480. Cast 16 is fine. Alright, let's go with this one. 
I'm not even looking at uh, timings. It doesn't matter that much, but you, I figure you might as well just try to optimize for it. Is that the best RAM, though? I, I, mean, I was going with another one earlier. Oh, wait, it's confused now, because I have... Yeah, here we go, here's the original link. Okay, let's see. Micro ATX. Which one looks... Which one's the good ones? Let's see. The Dark Flash? I don't know. The previous build? I don't know how I feel about it. Well, are your pro what were your issues with them? Or with it, rather? I don't know. Can I, do I remember? Um... Uh, you didn't like. Was that the case that you used for the six hundred dollar build? That was a seven hundred dollar build, or eight hundred, I think. Yeah, eight hundred yeah. with tax. I think you said you didn't like how hard it was to build into it. I think so. I don't. It know. ended up looking good at the end, though. Yeah, but I don't know. Fifty dollars on fans. <laughs> I'm not trying to judge, but I'm not trying to judge that much. <laughs> All right, I think that's the RAM I'm gonna go with. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, there it is. Six hundred watt. And uh, storage. Fiber. We'll save when I have budget later. GPU. Oh, don't I don't think AMD even has anything worth looking at in the budget range compared to. I uh, just Nvidia. get a five uh, four eighty. Exactly. I think that. Well, could... no. I think the fifty five hundred XT has been looking very cheap lately. Has but it? But this isn't that budget. It's it's been sub two hundred, sometimes even sub one fifty. Oh really? What the? When I was doing yeah. the eight hundred dollar build, it was like two fifty, almost three hundred dollars. Yeah, only some brands though. Okay, okay. So okay. to be fair, also I've noticed some brands that started off with not having very good cooling are just instead selling those GPUs extremely cheaply. <laughs> yeah, there have been a couple of cards that weren't very good, and they went very for very cheap because no one bought them. It's okay. Sorry, why am I looking? I'm definitely looking around 1660 Super at the most. Oh, okay. I got the same thing. Let me see. I should... I'm Stop trying to throw in me, all the Brian. parts. Then I go back to look for... Probably, like, um... If there's a better, cheaper one. I still need to get a cooler, though. I'm definitely always. Um... Let's see. I feel like... I mean, I feel like that's what we always do, isn't it? And just yeah. we we go over budget and then cut it back. Yeah, and it's and I I see how how much we could, how many corners we could cut. Not exactly mm -hmm. happy about saying that. <laughs> but yeah, it's not not just necessary. Has, not everyone has seven hundred dollars to spend All on right, a computer. Sixteen sixty super looks good. God, 580s are still up there in price. Yeah. But in a way, it is cheaper than getting... Well, in my opinion, it's cheaper than getting something else. Not wrong. It's like well, no. Not, well, I, don't think our, I don't think any of AMD's RX series right now are really worth getting. Because you have like RX 580 going for 170, 590 going for almost more than 200. That's like, yeah, 590 is definitely not, but if it's anything cheaper, if the 5500 XT is cheaper than, it's like the same price as the 580, sure, but if it's not, I don't know. When I was looking at it, it was like almost $300. Yeah, there's one 5500 XT I found for 180, let's see, I'm gonna see more yeah, as I, didn't I go see down. Any of that when I was doing this. That one's 200. Let me see. I'm gonna check that pricing, card. how much... How much money do I have left for? I'm at six hundred twenty dollars. I need a cooler left and a case, and that I, I might have to cut back on. Let me see video cards. Let me see video cards. Two hundred forty-three dollars. Fine. Let's see, five eighty. 580, 1660, 1650. I don't need any of the. Let me see 1660 supers. What is cheapest? 228, 232. They're all 230. Huh. 
All right. Let's see. 1660s. No, no, no. I'm not going to look at that. 1650s. 180. All right. Yeah, I could be searching for hours looking at GPUs. I think I'm not going to go past the first page. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. Well, let's look what I picked out first. I mean, the 1660 Super, I think it's the one you already have. Is it? The uh, MSI Super Ventus. That's the one I, I chose that's... too, but the one I have at, like, currently is the EVGA. One. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, Asus had a good one in the set that I looked at, although I don't really see a reason to go with it over MSI on this in this case. Mm -hmm. When I was looking at it, it was all it was all really they're all the same pricing. Yeah, it's all pretty competitive. Yeah, and all of the brands tend to have fairly decent M or Nvidia graphics cards. Many of them that I've picked out haven't really been. Yeah, I like most of them. Those are all pretty good. Like I wouldn't avoid any of these brands put that way. I think the only one I haven't tried... I have tried Zotac. Or at least not personally. Like, I got... One of my friends got it because it was cheap at the time. Yeah. Now the question is, is the 5500 XT competitive with the 1660 Super? Okay. Yeah, is the 1650 good? Uh, 1650 super is let's see let's see are you watching a video uh yeah did you hear the audio <laughs> <laughs> i muted it <laughs> uh, sorry Oh, I still need the case. Okay, memory, I got this. Let me see if there's cheaper memory. I'm at $680. Wow, okay. Let me see. I might have to cut back. I'm going to go even cheaper G uh, CPU then. Let's say $200. Because... It is very neck and neck for both cards. It definitely trade blows. Yeah, let me see. Although the 1660 Super team seems to come up on top most of the time, even if it's only by one or two FPS. I feel like the 1660 Super is probably the best to get. It's probably the better card overall. Although... It ran Halo very well. That's true. <laughs> I was getting the extra video memory is a little bit more helpful than four gigabytes. Although it's not like this fifteen fifty or fifty five hundred XT is much of a slouch either. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can find one something for cheaper that might give an edge one way or the other. So let's see. They're all micro ATX boards. The cheapest one is Asus Prime, but I do want four dim slots. That's no good. So I guess this is the cheapest one. Azrock. Oh, this one looks pretty oh, nice. Comes out to 180. The Azrock one looks pretty nice. Which one did I have previously? The motherboard or yeah, the GPU? The the motherboard that I'm looking at, it has, let me see, yeah, this one looks really nice. It has like a heatsink, another heatsink for the M.2, heatsink for the IO, it's like the IO cover is also silvered out, that's pretty nice. It is the mm -hmm. same price, okay, that's pretty good. Alright, I'm at 609, that's good, okay. That means the GPU I could keep. That's the good part. So now I have a case. As I'm doing this, it's actually not that bad for, what's it called, Intel? Like you just get an i3. 
Yeah, definitely. But the new 10th gen stuff looks really, really good. Honestly. It definitely does bring up a question of um, if AMD is now the, no longer the default like choice at that price range. Yeah. But it also depends on how expensive the motherboards are. Because it yeah, and... it's not backwards compatible with any of the stuff. So There's want... definitely still a value proposition there. Yeah. Because I do know the 6th and 7th gen do not work for 8th or 9th. So like the Z170, 270, uh, none of the new 8th gen, 9th gen cards, uh, CPUs work for that. And that's also the same with the Z390 ones. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's a, that's a downside. Oh, this case is pretty, this one's the one I built for another guy. Let's go with this one. Thermal take. Let's see if there's anything with fans. There's a bunch of these cases that are out of stock. Or like, they don't have pricing for it because it is out of stock. Yeah. Also, I will say we're not considering, like, the OS or any kind of software on top yeah. of this stuff. I don't think... We were... Most people don't. So we're just going to leave that out. So yeah, I mean, parts. Windows becomes such a small part of the budget. Once you can... Once you uh, realize the gray market sources you can get keys for. Yeah. What case did you look for? Or what case are you considering? Oh, I saved the case for last. How do you? I have a certain order. I usually go CPU, and grab some GPU, maybe RAM in the middle. And then I focus on storage and case, because those are all, uh, those for me are usually the things I would want to cut back on first. Okay. So very similar to how I, how I usually do it, so... Mm -hmm. but I think and it's I always choose... a matter of seeing how much budget I have left after I got all the core components. Yeah. But seeing usually, what's left to work with. I also don't um, cheap out on power supply because I kind of like having the idea that if I get a pretty decent power supply, I could reuse it next time. Oh, ew, mm -hmm. this is not this is ketchup and mustard. No, no, no. I have budget. We could still get a nicer one. You have against ketchup and mustard wires. No. <laughs> I will not get one. Oh, Can I get away with a 500 watt on this case? I believe so. I'm pretty sure 500 watt will go well. I'm just looking at whatever has, whatever is cheap, and has good. It's good pricing. That one's pretty cheap though. The one that I was looking at, but it's just ketchup and mustard. I might just do it anyways. Because. Let's go with this one. I imagine I'm imagining next to my budget. I'm gonna have to cut something back. <laughs> We're just gonna keep this one. Let's see. Let's see. I'm at six hundred and nine, so I can add another hard drive because extra storage is good. I still need to choose a case. Wait, I'm stupid. Never mind. I can't get another hard can, drive. Can you add an extra hard drive, Brian? No, I I didn't choose a case. I forgot. Beginner's mistake. <laughs> I thought I chose one because I was looking at it for so long. Well, I mean, better than where I'm sitting at, where I'm above 600 already, and <laughs> I still have my storage and case <laughs> to choose through. Cougar MX. Oh, this one's the one my friend did. It's actually pretty nice. Acrylic, though, which kind of sucks. I think we're cutting back on the GPU. Or I think I'm cutting back on the GPU. I don't think I am. I cut back on probably the CPU, the, definitely. Probably the RAM also, actually. <laughs> I don't know if I can I, I don't know if I can make the motherboard any cheaper or the CPU for that matter. As I didn't have much to choose from, unless I wanted to go Z. Like the Z chipset, but then it's like, nah. I don't even have a processor that could be overclocked. Let's yeah. This one. I mean the only question for the CPU for me is, I don't know what the value proposition is between the 3600 and the 3300X. That's why I don't know like, how close they come to in performance. Yeah, neither do I for this. So I guess right now we'll just choose this, and then I'll, when I do start building something, I'll make adjustments to it. 
As for the yeah, theme of I'm the not... build, hmm? what were you gonna say? Uh, it better be it better be black and white. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was gonna say I, I don't know if I'm choosing the 3600 just because I'm familiar with it, or and I'm just kind of dismissing the 3300X because it's the Ryzen three, or if the 3300X does really come close enough to the 3600 where I can just choose either or. Yeah, that's kind of and true. save some extra money. But honestly, I Almost. think the 3300X would be most likely the better choice. Because isn't the 3600 like 150, 160 right now? 172. It's 172? Okay. It was 150, 160 at one point. Yeah, it's definitely thrown in price. So I think, I don't think it's worth the $50 increase then. Especially since we're accounting yeah, for thing tax. Research. I'm at 664. I'm getting closer. <laughs> Alright, I think I'll just finish putting everything together and then I'll start cutting back in price. Oh, shoot. Okay, accounting for tax, I go $20 over budget. That's unfortunate. Because tax here is like 9%. Looks like you have $20 to find in the budget. I know. Let me see what I can come back on just to be safe, just to hit that 100 that perfect seven hundred dollars. Let me see. Is there like fifty dollar RAM that I could get? That is still very good speeds. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. What do I want to do for storage? Same. A oh, one sixteen gig sticks or two eight gigabytes. There's nothing. Okay. Thank you. Nothing. All right. Sounds good. So just show me what you guys have. I might go single. Hmm. I think that's the cheapest RAM. No, I think I'm going to go with one terabyte of fast storage. But it's not always the right choice. I guess that's why we kind of made it differently. I went cheaper, like less on storage to meet the budget. But I didn't. Yeah. Well, I still have to meet the budget. That's true. But I'm willing to meet the budget because... Or I'm willing to meet the budget to get one terabyte of fast storage. <laughs> well, I, like I have a respect for how much SSDs can help with the feel of the... Or feel of using a computer. Mm -hmm. So having a terabyte, or basically having nothing on a hard drive, essentially, is already a better experience. <laughs> okay, I get what you mean. I think... <sighs> oh yeah, I'm already $50 above budget, and I still need the case. So obviously I'm already cutting back things. <laughs> that storage is probably going to go to in a second. I just want to see if I can get it to work. Let's see. One good thing is I have a micro ATX motherboard. I can get a cheaper case. That is true. Sometimes. But <laughs> even cheaper means... Oh, actually, I could do this one. I've always wondered if the Cooler Master Master Box was a good case. It's that weird thing. It's that case that has that weird mesh in the front. Uh, Master Box Q300L? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's the like one uh, Jeremy used. Was it any good? It wasn't hard to build in. There isn't actually... Like, for cable managing, it wasn't that good. There was... If I remember correctly, there wasn't a lot of places to tie down things. But it wasn't terrible. For $50, yeah. it's not bad. And there's no PSU shroud where it blocks out the cables. Which also kind of sucks. But if you get... If you don't get ketchup and mustard cables, I think it's fine. Yeah, I see what you mean. But I'm still... What? I'm still... What was the previous one? I'm like $20, $20 19 $18 over budget still, if you include tax. Let me see. It's because of the damn CPU cooler. I wish I didn't have to, have to get that. Let me see if I do <laughs> 500. 
50 watt power supply instead of uh, there's a 500 watt but I want to go too bad on it this case looks good I'm guessing it chokes the air though from the design of it which one uh, dark, another dark flash case, micro ATX, ATX. I didn't test the thermals on it. I just kind of got it. And yeah, no, I think it's different from the one you got. But this oh, one very it? obviously chokes the air out of. Um, yeah, it's kind of sad actually. The wait, 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 wait. On the Which side. one is it? Uh, I'm trying to look for a model name here. Uh, DLM twenty one black. Let me see, micro ATX. Dark the flash. cooling on this do, does not look fun to deal with. The case looks good. You said DLM what? 20... Uh, 21. 21. So... Is it the one I got for... I think it is the one that I got for... One of the guys that I built for. Mm -hmm. But they ran out of the black ones, so they had to... Sell me the. What was the twenty two? I think you got the flat. You got the twenty two. You got the flat front ones. Yeah, I got the flat one. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's... definitely a possibility. It's a cheap case. I'm it sure it's fine. Case. And all it's just. I, I don't I'm want. Now I'm curious. Hold up. I'm not sure about doing with those thermals. Yeah. Like, the least you can do out of a cheap computer is make sure things don't choke to death inside. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Go on to my Instagram. Which case did I use? Because I don't remember... Sent... No, 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 it's the same one. It's the same one. Oh, interesting. DLM21. Okay. I don't know if it was good or not. Or like if the if it chokes, <clears throat> or like if it's bad thermals. I didn't test it, but since you didn't really have anything that will get hot, when I was testing the computer, it wasn't getting that hot. Yeah, even that's another thing is, to consider too. I don't really have any super high power. That's why, and even if it is, he still hasn't told me. It's very fair. He might not actually. <laughs> <laughs> you might actually be able to recognize high thermals or what would be in general like high thermals would cause the same issue as like lag or something like that in a computer you would be surprised yeah well yeah you'd have but you'd have to know that it's high thermals to really diagnose it yeah so i don't know is cooler master gonna surprise me with the case oh this is the same thing as earlier looks oh, kind of nice shoot. though is this is this cooler any good? I've never seen it. It looks pretty cool though. It's black and white. It's cheap. It has two fans. Wow. People say it's good. Let's do it. Let's add this. It's black and white. It's cheaper. It's kind of interesting actually. It's a cheaper. Oh no, I was wrong. This one looks pretty good. No, I think I'm not going to go with that one though. We're going to go with their other micro ATX case. Which one are you going to do? Uh, the Q300L. Oh, we got the same case. But it's like the cheapest one. That's true. You need to stop copying me, Brian. It's just not acceptable. Oh, wait. Hey. <laughs> I got it first. I'm already no, done. It's... Am I done, actually? I'm done. I think I'm within budget now. Let's see. Let's I'm do a quick calculation. Not. I'm 150 dollars above so, budget. Let's go. What's it called? 642 times... What is our tax here? Exactly. Uh, that's a pretty good question. I think it's <laughs> it depends on what store you're buying from. Yeah, around there. I would just go for ten percent to be safe. Oh, then you have budget to work with. Then you can go higher. No, I can't. I'm at six ninety nine. 
Never mind. Wow, you are cutting that close. Okay. <laughs> I need to get below budget now. All right. I'm done. All right, everyone. Look at my uh, amazing list. No, 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 no. No showing it off until I'm ready. Okay, okay. All right, well, first thing... Okay, what are we cutting off first? Or what are we cutting down on first? First, I think I'm cutting down on the GPU. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Which is going to hurt my comparison to you. Uh-huh. One second. All right, sounds good. Wait, why is this over budget? Oh, but then... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Then again, my CPU is really, really cheap. So... All right, sorry about that. But Not okay, that if wow, if you've been saying things, I was muted for like a minute. Oh, okay. I was just gonna say, mine is a lot cheaper because the CPU is not terrible, not bad, but it's really cheap. Seventy five dollars, Taylor. Seventy five dollars, and then six ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Price by merchants, let's see. Six ninety nine. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm making a mistake by cutting back on the GPU instead of the CPU. Maybe cut back on the CPU. Oh, I think I'm gonna go for. Nah, I I treat this like a competition. I wanna I wanna see if cutting back on this first would <laughs> ultimately give me a uh, an edge on the comparison later on. I think that's the one I'm going with, definitely. Okay. I trust MSI's AMD work too. They tend like to be MSI. pretty, pretty uh, reliable with AMD. I like. Oh, MSI. that cut my book down really significantly. All right, so now we're cutting back even more. So yeah, here's the thing too. I had to cut back on more than just the GPU <laughs> to get my budget <laughs> below. <laughs> yeah, next probably is gonna be the storage. Okay, but where are you at right now? Okay. Uh, 770. Holy, okay, total has to be around <laughs> 640. If you yeah, I saw the ways. Okay. So, so we're cutting back on the storage next. I think <laughs> I still want 2 terabytes. Okay. But I don't think I get fast storage. I think I go with um some SSDs. All right. Let me change some of the parameters here. Let's see. What is this? Why is that six hundred dollars? If I just change the price, that should narrow it down. All right. Um. Wow, that actually didn't do what I was hoping to do. Okay, we would use this instead. There we go. All right, we're going with Kingston. Oh, I just hit my mic. That probably did not sound great. You're welcome. Uh, okay, we're going with Kingston, reliable brand gotta say <laughs> i hope everything's recording that's all I'm but i really say. hope so too yeah. <laughs> i'm really playing things up for you all right better get a good video out of this thank you i won't um, i haven't look, i'm not gonna look at your screen i'm not gonna look at your screen until uh, we're doing it yeah good, good good we're doing a big reveal afterwards yes i'm, I'm still 88 dollars over budget <laughs> <laughs> is that including or excluding tax that's ex well that's including tax yeah okay Remember, 640 is about the sweet spot. Alright, I'm gonna want to cut down. I'll see you later, Ram. <laughs> so much for you. I still want to see if I can sneak in 16 gigabytes. It's okay. Single channel isn't that bad. I feel like in the beginning... <laughs> Did you get single channels? Is that how you got 16 gigabytes? No, no, no. Mine is dual. But that's the thing. <laughs> In the beginning, we were saying, oh, I'm going to have a hard time. But since I haven't been keeping up with Intel, I haven't actually, like, chosen anything different. What are the timings on this? Oh, Cast 19. Just get it. It's okay. This is a budget it's, PC. It's tempting, though. No, well... You don't have see, money for it, Taylor. I'm not familiar with the the um effect that uh amd has or the effect that timings and ram has on amd stuff but okay remember this isn't this is primarily for gaming very little productivity because we're all lazy gamers okay we well it's, game. it's beyond productivity too though like 
even like he, it's been shown before that RAM does affect every aspect of AMD's okay, okay, processors. Okay, okay, okay. I understand that, but Taylor, Taylor, thirty six hundred is still thirty six hundred. That's true. Wait, are you watching my screen? Wait a second. <laughs> oh wait, is it? No, I'm not. I'm not watching your screen. <laughs> wait a second. You here. can re- you can watch this video once it's out. I'm still looking at my screen. That's true. No, 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 I see what you mean. Um, the question for me really just becomes: Is the frequency worth the timings that are lost? And they probably are. Just get the thirty-six hundred. Yeah. Megahertz, like the speed. I got thirty-two. If I, if I look 32. it, up, if I look it up later, also I break the theme of the build, but whatever. <laughs> if I know, I, I'll create a new theme then. Uh, create a new theme. That's fine. Remember. When I'm building these, I don't really look for a theme, or at least for the budget stuff. If people do want me to, like, if I do, once I do make this budget PC, depending on which one I do, like, if I get the new 10th gen or the Ryzen 3300, I'll just be designing it, but it wouldn't be part of the budget. It would be something else. No, are they not out yet? What? My secret weapon was going to be the 3300X. They're out so, May. No, dude. <laughs> it's May right now. Yeah, May 21st. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Ha, you failed. I, I really have, dude. Get a Ryzen 3. Why are the 3600 so expensive right now? Let me see. I wasn't What's checking. the cheapest it's been? Oh, no. These are the normal price. This is the normal price of it. Mm-hmm. That's why I just got a Ryzen 3. Oh, no, no, no. I will find... Life finds a way, Brian. <laughs> I will find a way. Oh, uh, It just means I start cutting down on things. That's true. Wait, okay, so the MSI... I don't know which video card you got, but the MSI 1660 Super has a mail-in rebate and a $10 coupon. That's just not nice. Yeah, but I'm trying to find one where it doesn't have that. So it's just like flat 230. No, I think you're just cheating. No. (laughs) (laughs) This isn't cheating. If I'm cheating the game, I'm making everything better. You're saving money. Yes, I'm saving people money. That's why people come asking me, can you build my computer? And I say no. (laughs) Okay. That's too hard. I'm just going to stick with this one. Wait, A320. Alright, let's not go that direction yet. It's going to be fun looking oh. at your screen afterwards <laughs> when I'm editing. I'll be like, oh, that's, that's what yeah, he's been doing. Trying to find out how to lose money on this. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see how I can make this even better. If I can. So 9900K... I think that's a good processor. We'll just I don't think you want to touch yours at all, though. You're right below budget. Yeah, it's within budget. You want to make this harder and say, uh, add a monitor? I'm just nah, kidding. it's... That's hard. That throws a wrench in everything. Yeah. It's kind of hard getting a monitor for so cheap. Oh, why am I going with this route? All right, let's go that route. 701, just can cut $40 back. <laughs> Where do I even start cutting? Oh, I can cut 10 here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm cutting 10 here. All right. <laughs> Wait, Seagate still have... Not even on sale right now. Okay, nice. So yeah, let's go. Let's go with the Western Digital one then. They're still a good brand. Which one are you looking for? A hard that was a hard drive. Oh. What did you say my budget was supposed to be at before tax? Uh around six forty. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> 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 I was really counting on that thirty three hundred X to save get me out of this. I think we go this route. Is that gonna bring me below? Oh way below. Uh what's the difference between these two?
Is it worth the boost clock? It's always worth. Not always worth the boost clock, though. It's always worth getting a boost. Is it worth <laughs> getting a, a better might... motherboard than what I have to, <laughs> to get no. instead of the CPU? <laughs> Should I... I'm just trying to figure out what route I want to go. I think i go with the better CPU in this case. Okay. Sounds good. Am I still below budget? I'm above budget now. This How is much? not nice. Uh, Almost $30, basically. Okay. I think I need to actually not get that to go full budget. <laughs> I need to sacrifice other things, but I don't know. It's not worth it, probably. Yeah, like, the CPU is still good. Yeah? You'll, you'll see what I went for C as in CPU choice. Alright, I won't cheat. I'm not gonna... Still respectable. Discord. Um, I have $30 to work with now. That's always nice. Okay, that's good. Maybe get a better graphics card? We even get better RAM, honestly. Never mind, there's no better RAM for timings on this one. Uh, 2080 Ti? Yeah, totally. That'll fit my budget. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Where, is it. where does this put me in my budget? That puts me above budget. Alright. We'll go back. We'll bring back my other GPU. I'll probably build up something else. And uh, we'll, we'll see what our decisions were. We'll see that I'm clearly better at making PC builds than you are. <laughs> okay, alright, sounds good. And that uh, $700 is also such an awkward budget. Like, literally, it's really going up $100 more opens up so many pathways. It really is, but we have to think of it as in the person literally has no more money to spend. Or they have to spend that $100 for a monitor or peripherals, like keyboard that is mouse, true. whatever. Yeah, we also learned today that I should pay attention to release dates before confidently assuming I have exactly. a crushed lane on later. See, I got this all thought out. I'll make you look bad, because I know all the days. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. Then, yeah. In a way, that did, that is how it played out. <laughs> but it's okay. We're going with this, I think. Am I going to be below budget? Oh, I'm barely above, Brian. <laughs> Oh, is this crucial to the rescue? No. Never. I kind of want to do this one. Oh no, this is going to be dumb. Their box looks so dumb. Oh no. If it puts me below budget though, and I'm trying this. Okay, I want to see it. how this goes. Do it. Oh, I'm way below budget now, Brian. How much? How much? Catching up. $20 below budget now. Okay, get a better case. What are you judging judging my Q three O three hundred L? Yeah, so uh get a ten fifty Ti and get okay. a better case. Okay. <laughs> Clearly H one hundred, right? Yeah. Sorry. Actually I might go with this one just because I actually recognize the brand. Do you? Which one is it? <laughs> a data. For a case? No, no not for a case. Okay, I'm looking okay, at cases. Okay. What are you even talking about? You got a case by A data. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's just 300 SSDs made into a box. Yeah, exactly. Should I improve my motherboard? <laughs> <laughs> I <can't... laughs> I'm so tempted to open up Discord to see what you're doing. But I will not. Yeah. Well, gotta be patient, Bran. <laughs> but I'll play some what video about... games. What can I improve here? No, oh, I'm really dumb. I just realized it, that's the, this is the exact same thing I had in this spot earlier, and that's what pushed me over budget before. I literally went back, re-added the thing that pushed me over budget earlier, <laughs> and then realized, oh, I'm still over budget. I'm oh. actually an idiot. No, no, that's just good PC building tactics. It, tr it truly is, yeah, truly. You're trying to confuse the opponent. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm think I'm. I think I've done so well. I've confused myself as well. Oh, uh, see, see. Oh, so this is. Wow. I'm looking at my screen. Huh. Looking at my screen. No, I'm not. I'm trying to see if there's a better power supply. <laughs> no. Oh no! Did I actually do that? 
Oh no! Did you I didn't mean to click start new. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, dude! Oh, oh my. my god, I hate this. Okay. All right. Well, no, one sec. I'm at the rebuild everything. <laughs> well, I'm watching it now. Hey, Brian. Do you know how to add custom parts to a a PC part like picker list? I have no idea. All right. What do you need to add? Not sure. <laughs> All right, can't come up with a joke. Here I am. I'm done. I think I'm You're just. Done? I'm just gonna throw in the extra twenty dollars I could have spent on something. Okay. Oh wait, no. I know what I can spend it on. No, no, no. I'm not done. I'm not done. Ignore, ignore that earlier statement. Okay, never mind. I'm getting a better case. <laughs> <laughs> I had twenty dollars more. Might as well. God, there really aren't that many nice-looking micro micro ATX cases, are there? I don't think so. Yeah, even if I have the extra money out, <laughs> my options aren't really looking super great. <laughs> well, maybe I just stick with that one then. It comes right. with fans too. That's the thing. The one I chose doesn't come with fans. It comes with one. I think I don't even think it comes with a fan. No, it comes with one. Actually, yeah, maybe I should verify that this comes with fans. Yeah, the one that I chose only has one fan, so it kind of sucks. But there's no other way I could. It looks like there's one really bad fan in the back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Really hey, hey, what's included is included. I'm not gonna complain. Let's see what I have? Like twenty dollars? Okay. Um, an optical drive. Oh, exactly. Gone. You didn't get an optical drive? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why would I? Because you could put discs in it. Alright, are getting crappy fans actually worth it? I don't think... I'm not getting fans. Have you used Arctic as a brand before? Arctic? Uh, it's that white one, right? Yeah, they're really cheap ones. I'm not. Well. We're about to find out, huh? That looks like it. So, how's everything going? Oh, pretty good. Yeah. Just verifying that I'm below budget, we should be good, you know? Right. Hey, uh, you, you, you got away with 70 cents, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I I, let, me, let me type in the actual number to see how, how close I actually am. Okay. Should Cause, I be you know, scared? Yeah. Well, no, it's pretty close. I'm not hey, scared. how about... Hey, hey, would you say going over $2? Everyone has $2, right? <sighs> <laughs> Fine. We'll 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 do, we'll do it. Okay. That'll do it. Two dollars. Fine. Okay. Hey, you ready for the big reveal? Yeah. So list out your parts. I don't know. I think I think you go first. I think <laughs> it's best to let the competition go first. Competition. Okay. So uh, actually, no. I want a full full sh share screen and everything. Okay. Full share screen. Yeah. Get on the Discord right now. I want a full share screen. Like, I want to see every see how part. To do this. Of what you've created. Aha. Am I live? Yeah. Look at this. Aha. Look at this. Mm, beautiful. So. I think you copied my case there. This case? Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. I had it before you. Remember? Hey. You had to restart. So, frankly, I still had it before <laughs> you. Hey. Yeah. Um, 9100F really cheap actually so i'm actually kind of quite happy but the issue that i keep forgetting is you still have to buy a fan for intel that's yeah that's a pretty expensive fan yeah actually you're literally using the arctic brand i was talking about yeah but this is the cheapest one and it doesn't look bad <laughs> i okay. can't complain their fans are in my case does it look bad it's black and white not wrong it's, it's not about well, not always about looks though I know, but I don't know if it performs well. It's just cheap. It's most yeah. likely better than uh, whatever the hell the 
uh, it's better than nothing. Ones are. The stock ones for Intel, nah. And then you've seen this one, right? This actually looks really nice. This is what I mean. M.2 heatsink? What the? Do you even have an M.2? No, no, no. But I'm just saying. And look at this. Wow. Ooh, ooh. Look at all that. <laughs> Beautiful. You're really Anyways. going for the wow factor here. I know. And then I have this G skill, I guess, or however you say it. I I saw that RAM also. And then A data. It might blow up. Uh, yeah, 1660 fine. Super Ventus. And then same case as you, the one that you stole from me. And then I got this. <laughs> some, this is the one I made for my that I use for my friend. This is the same yeah. exact one. It's sixty five dollars, mm -hmm. so I cut back on the storage five dollars, and then I'm at six forty two. All right, seems pretty oh, good to me. MMA. Gotta say, I'm impressed, Brian. You actually made Intel look compelling. Thank you, thank you. Let's see yours next. AMD really gets hurt with a $700 budget. <laughs> I could have done this differently, to be honest. I spend money on things that uh, most people probably wouldn't. But, um, yeah. Like, I feel like even just $50 more in the budget mm -hmm. would have led to a much better computer. Yeah. $100 more. That would have been an optimal computer right there. I do agree. So, uh, let's go through this. Alright. So the first thing, uh, 3200G. Right. This should have been a 3300X, but that's fine, that's um, unfortunately, that's not a thing that can happen. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Yeah, good. you know, it's still a good CPU, though, obviously. Yeah, sounds good, sounds good. The clock speed's pretty similar to um, the 3600. It's only a few free, few megahertz below. Yeah. For boost clock, anyways. The base clock is APU, exactly... You know, APU. Hey, CPU works the same way. <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, the AS Rock A320. <laughs> okay. That's uh, fine. It's not a bad the, board. The Cal ultimate Spock. budget board, you know. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I like. I think you kind of copied my motherboard also, but the Intel version. Mine looks better. Mine okay. looks cleaner. No, I have. This is a fresh look at all of the all <laughs> the all the whole motherboard. Nothing covering anything, Brad. <laughs> so the you want ideal. the bare bone, like. No makeup or anything, huh? Yeah, I didn't okay, even verify not. that this has Wi-Fi on it. Huh. That's beside the point, though. All right. Um, all right, RAM. G-Skill rip, rip draw. I went full AMD build. This is a red, black, and white build right here. The okay. AMD build, all right? Okay, mine is a black and white. Yeah. A little right. bit of red. 3,600 3, memory. Oh, okay. Right okay. Sounds good. The timing's uh, not not so great, but everything okay. else. We could we could blur that out. We'll blur that out. Oh well, yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, <laughs> eight out eight out of one terabyte. I think this is pretty worth. I gotta say. Yeah, it's pretty worth a hundred a hundred bucks. That's not bad. Better yeah. like a lot more space than I had. Two hundred forty. It's gonna run out quite fast. So like, considering I had room in the budget. Because I couldn't, I couldn't even get a 3400 G without going above budget. Like I couldn't even go like one tier above the CPU I have now. Yeah. And the U stuff has just gone. It's gone to the point where the U stuff is at a higher price because it's no longer in. It's no longer being sold normally. So you know the only people that are selling it are ones that are like, I need this exact CPU to replace the one I have now. That kind of situation. Yeah, they don't really um, want to spend more on other stuff. Like, they exactly. don't want to get, like, a whole new motherboard or whatever. It's okay. So, so I, had I had room in the budget to um, g get a one nicer terabyte. Case. No, no, no. That's just false. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a nicer case. No, what I was saying is I had room in the budget to go for one terabyte over a, a combo of an SSD and a hard drive. Mm. And for me, one terabyte is mostly enough for just gaming. Unless you're doing, like other storage yeah that's stuff. a thing mine... i mean we talked about how this would be light video editing but yeah mine i don't even think you could you could at most have like two games on there and that's it but it's generally like a stronger computer but yeah i've, yeah. I've started i've started prioritizing um faster storage i really do think it makes a difference mm -hmm. in how the computer feels okay yeah i get what you mean all right gpu 5500 XT. Okay. 
a respectable card. Yeah. If I had a little bit more room in the budget, probably would have gone with a 20, uh, 1660 Super. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is another case where if I jumped up that extra tier, I really didn't have that much more money to get or much more money to put into it. To actually grab that 1616 Super would have put me over budget 100%. Yeah, and we can't have that. Not everyone is uh, has the money for that. Nah, you're right. Yeah, they might have. They might not even have the two dollars that we went over. <laughs> Let's ignore that part. All right, and then my case, a pretty and like I'm gonna be honest, the only nice looking or decently nice looking micro ATX case for some yeah, reason. Yeah, same one that I got at the cheap price. Yeah, the one you copied from me. No, no, uh, no, no, no. yeah. You know, obviously, just like a normal choice. Comes yeah, with a fan. This cheap. Uh, a G- a pretty good EVGA power supply instead of you know CSonic. Who who even knows what that brand is? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. All right, I see how it is. <laughs> All right, and my extra budget, two fans. I had better wow. cooling. Okay, fine, fine. I- ideal cooling. Yeah. Fine, fine. Okay. It's like let's ignore how much it goes over. It's fine. It's all right. Yeah. Okay, you know. As a professional judge, I want to say, based on our performances, I'm pretty sure it's a tie. Yeah, I don't think we should ever build computers. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just quit. I'm not going to do this channel anymore. Do you want? Hey, do you want a computer? All the parts that I'm going to build for the next PC? I don't think I'm going to record anymore. I think this is also a good time to talk about like the new stuff that's coming out, especially since... Uh, Intel and AMD are releasing fairly cheaper 3900, uh, 3300, oops, and the... Very different CPUs. How do you even say it? 10100. No, I'm going with the joke name. The 1090000K. Okay. It's the only name it's going to be referred to until Intel decides to redo their branding. Okay, okay. That sounds, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so the i3-10100 is $120. And that's a 4-core, okay. 8 threads. Base clock is 3.6, and boost clock is 4.3. How does that compete with um, the 3300X and the 3100? Well, actually, I think it's 4.3 for 1-core and 4.1 for all. So pretty respectable, actually. Yeah. But let me see. I don't. I don't remember. The I mean, for me personally, uh, Intel's gonna have to show that they're a viable option again, because yeah. for a while now they've kind of just disappeared as the default CPU. Like I no longer when I think when someone says I need to build a computer, I no longer think i5, i7, or i3. Yeah. I think immediately I go to Ryzen, because for most builds, Ryzen has done a good job of positioning. Or sorry, for most like mid budget to mid range builds, Ryzen has done a good job of positioning itself as the ideal choice. Yeah, definitely. As of now, definitely. So it would be really interesting to see this time. Yeah, I think Intel's going to have to regain some trust within the community. <laughs> like, yeah. kind of just everyone needs to, they need to show that, hey, we can, we're actually worth mo- worth the money also. Hey, we're still here. Don't forget about yeah, us. Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's, they still have a huge market share. Yeah, they do. It's not like they're do. disappearing. And their CPUs are still the best for high-end gaming. Mm-hmm. Nothing can really, AMD hasn't really been that quite yet. Yeah, I do agree. But for productivity and like budget builds, definitely not. I don't yeah, think and especially Intel... if you have someone you don't who you don't know what they're planning to do with their computer. Yeah. AMD is such a safe decision. Yes, I do agree with that. To answer your previous question about the Ryzen stuff, the Ryzen thirty three hundred X and thirty one hundred are all are both four cores, eight threads. The 3300X is, base clock is 3.8, 3.6 for 3100, and boost clock is 4.3, so it does beat um, the 10, die 3, I'm not gonna, I don't want to say all of it. And then the <laughs> 3100 is 3.9. 
a question: Does the i3 come with a fan? I don't think so. I don't know then, if they. I don't know if Intel is gonna have. Fans. Are the Intel motherboards the same price as they used to be? Also, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know if they're gonna increase increase the prices because they're saying. I think the news. Oh, but then again, I forget that if you don't get the Z four ninety or something, maybe the H or B, uh, whatever, like the lower tier uh, motherboards, they might be cheaper. Since I don't think you you can't even overclock the i three. Yeah, I think that's gonna be key to this. Is will the motherboards, will basically everything you need to buy with the CPU, be yeah. as cheap as the AMD platform? Because you saw in my build a fifty dollar motherboard. This would totally work with a thirty three hundred X or a thirty one hundred, and it can yeah. even go cheaper. There were some forty dollar ones that, if as long as you trust the brand, mm -hmm. you could probably go with. I went with AS Rock because I'm familiar with their brand and I can trust it's going to be an okay motherboard. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure the forty one forty dollar ones are probably just as good. Yeah, and that's the other that's the downside for Intel. It's, you don't really know the new motherboard, so you don't know how much it's going to cost and. Uh, I'm pretty sure Intel's not going to have a fan, so you have to also buy a fan. So it kind of already throws... It, it's kind of already going... Going to be over budget compared to the Ryzen ones. And we have B550 coming out soon also. Yeah. That well, won't like, help in my case where I use an A320 motherboard, but... Yeah. If you're going to... If you have the budget to go with cheer up, then yeah, B550 would be a good match as well. Or even, like, if... B550 comes out, maybe even the B450 might drop in prices, so you could actually get, like, a fairly good B450. For yeah, temporary cheaper. drop. Mm -hmm. I so. think... I mean, ultimately, what it comes down to also is... What's the price gap between the 30... between the i3 you're talking about and the next i5? It's 122 for both the... Uh, it's 122 for the i3 and 120 for the 3300x and 100 for the 3100 uh, sorry let me rephrase or meant um the i3 versus the i5 that comes next in intel's line oh okay well there's another i3 that's uh i3 10 3 uh 10300 and then it's the i3 one zero three two zero and then it's the i5 and one is with integrated graphics and one without and that's the one zero four zero zero f that's without integrated graphics and that's at 157 and the i5 one zero four zero zero is 182 and then there's four more i5s above that but we don't have to okay. go in there because that's going to be over budget anyways. Or at least for what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Well, I mean, what someone was asking is because uh, thinking about the um, 3300X and the 3100, part of the problem I had when I was doing my build was the next tier above that was too much. And so yeah. having that middle ground that's a really good CPU definitely helps. So like I couldn't go from 3200G to even 3400 because it would have pushed me way over budget. There was like a 40 to $50 price difference. Now, we're oh. kind of in an abnormal situation, but that's kind of what I mean, like having having the budget budget area have a new like middle ground definitely changes things a little bit. Okay. Then I guess in a way the new uh, Intel CPUs do have that since the price increase aren't isn't that much. It's twenty. It's about from the cheapest i3 is 120. Uh, it goes to 140, 154, 157. So the price jumps aren't that much. Yeah, definitely. So I think that's also a good sign. So it'll be really interesting because uh, I, I guess right now for my next build. I don't really know. As of now, I'm not really thinking of a theme. I first want to get the parts before I actually think of a theme. I think generally I want it to be a fairly budget, like like we said, like $700, $800. But I really don't know what I should get, Intel or Ryzen. Which one I want to play with more. 
Yeah, we'll have to see when they come out. And really, I mean, it's all going to depend on. It's gonna. It's really just going to be depend on the benchmarks. Mm -hmm. We can see the specs now. We know that Intel's improved their CPUs. Yep. We know that they dropped their prices. Yep. Now, can it? Can they actually perform where it counts? Yeah. And Intel obviously wants to perform in gaming. They have also added more cores too. Keep that. That's a good thing to keep in mind. Yeah. So um, a little bit but, more competitive. Yeah, like, but their main, their main, you know, their main selling point and their most of their CPUs right now is gaming. Yeah. So can their CPUs perform against the rise new Ryzen CPUs? And then even going even further in the future, how long if if let's say they take the crown back, how long do they keep it with AMD coming out with the Ryzen four thousand series pretty mm -hmm. soon? So uh, it'll be really interesting to see. Yeah, and... I hope this goes better for Intel than their GPU businesses. <laughs> I do kind of want to see their GPUs, but I don't think I'd ever get one unless it completely destroys Nvidia's flagship cards. Yeah, I mean, I like the idea of where they're going with multi GPUs. I want to see if where if they actually do something with that. But as it stands now, I'm not too impressed with with what's been leaked. Yeah, so eh, that's for something else. All right, thank you, Taylor, for uh, helping me. Yeah, making this fairly more entertaining than how I would have done it. Yeah, well, I want to say um, P would probably use my build instead. But, oh yeah, yeah that's, that's true. So uh, for anyone watching, <laughs> use his build. And if it don't, doesn't don't work, my build. It, this is email not a good me price. and I will tell you his address. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>